I am a computer science and engineering graduate. I uh, graduated back in 2019 from um, APJ Abdul Kalam Technological University, Kerala. And uh, my GPA is 7.94. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I was working in Infosys for the past two and a half years. So that's my background. Welcome to Student Stories from Your Today we have with us Ms. Shri Lakshmi. She has worked with Infosys as a senior systems engineer for two and a half years. Was study abroad always on the cards? Ah, uh, well, I have always wanted to uh, do my post graduation, but um, like I was working previously in Infosys, so um, it's been two and a half years, and I did not feel like my career was you know, progressing. So I thought like maybe this is the time to you know, move to the next chapter. So yeah, that's pretty much it. What was the major challenge you faced in your study abroad journey? Um, well, uh, my major challenge was when it came to the financial aspects of uh, you know funding your education and all that. Um, even before that, shortlisting universities was a huge headache for me because I initially wanted to go with Canada, but um, I wanted to pursue software engineering and there were in a lot of options in Canada. So that's when I shifted my focus to US. So um, shortlisting was. a uh, major issue because you know researching and uh, finding the right universities with the right kind of i mean all these universities have to offer these uh, you know you have a certain set of uh, subjects that you would want to learn right so shortlisting would, was a hectic process for me and the financial uh, aspects of funding the education and all that those were the two uh, challenges i guess for me How did Yorkit Premium help you in your journey? Uh, the shortlisting part, like Yorkit, was a huge help. Uh, Twisha was my advisor. She did a great job at shortlisting universities for me. I mean, if I had done it by myself, I would have never gotten into the university that I I'm currently uh, like I'm the one that I've decided to go. Um, so we have so many options uh, uh, when it comes to choosing your package. I went for Yorkit Premium, uh, but uh, the the major uh, uh, help. Uh, you know the support that yorkit premium uh, package helped me was for university shortlisting so university shortlisting was a great help uh, and then if you talk about uh, you know the application process as well there were so many um, you know doubts that come up those doubts uh, were instantly cleared like i had messaged my counselor and uh, she would respond and go through my application before i submitted it so that was also useful the fact that we get uh, help Uh, at every stage uh, is was very it was very impressive for me so i decided to just okay let me try this out again I, when it comes to the financial uh, aspects of uh, the visa and all of that um, <clears throat> getting my i20 and all of that uh, that also was helpful so um, um visa mock interviews all of this was included in the yorkit premium and um, uh, that package really did help every step of the way you guys were there to guide me and that was really How did working in the MNC help you in the process? Um working in an MNC was definitely, you know, it was very useful I would say because I was able to interact with my seniors, ask them for their valuable suggestions and all of that because um uh, I personally would want to pursue, you know, a software development career in my future. So, um I was able to interact with seniors and ask them about how I should, you know, channel my energy in the process so that I'll be able to reach where they have uh, reached and all that. So, um and also getting a, a formal letter of recommendation from your managers and all that. Any myths you had that got debunked during the process? The major myth I would tell you is cracking GRE. Everybody was like it's extremely difficult the verbal part is like something that you cannot do and all that but uh, it's doable uh, with uh, like you know with enough practice and uh, like if you set aside a month or maybe two months for preparation like starting early uh, for gre preparation is very important so i think uh, that was the biggest thing people used to scare me like oh we are verbal and all very difficult and all that but it's possible it's everything every step of the way even though even getting documents ready for financials and all of that it's really it's really difficult because there are a lot of things that you have to keep in mind make lists and all that so um it will be difficult but you break down the problem and that's where you that's how you solve it and lastly any words of wisdom for study abroad aspirants one would be to start early like make like oh, because you'll all uh, definitely be uh, you know researching like you have to fix your country you have to fix which course you're going for and all that so starting early is the 
is the biggest uh, advice that i have to give anyone uh, and also if you're working even if you're not working save some money because you know you'll have to pay for your exam you can't really depend on your parents for everything right obviously they are the ones who will help you out but make sure that you if you are able to save some money definitely that that's going to take some burden off of you so saving and starting early is very very important check out yoket connect to connect with 7 lakh plus students like shri lakshmi